Hi, <clears throat> let's do a weekly plan with me. So I have my Hobonichi cousin and I have my Hobonichi day free. We're going to start in the, uh, actually, let's start in the Hobonichi cousin. Yes. Um, so with this, the first is my monthly and each day I use the um, Caveco uh, Student 70 Soul with Ferris Wheel Press Stroke of Midnight um, ink in it. And I just do a little memory for the day. So uh, yesterday, um, we went to a new brewery that is local. I am a very big fan of breweries. I love the the ambiance, the vibe, if you will. Um, however, since finding out that um, I have an autoimmune response to gluten, I can't drink beer. Um, thankfully, a lot of breweries are offering seltzer options. I have my coffee here. Um, so this particular one did have a full range of seltzers. I think there were eight different flavors, so I tried two of them. One was much more delicious than the other. Um, it was actually a mimosa seltzer, and it did taste exactly like a mimosa. Um, my husband took a sip, and you know his comment I very much agree with is you could drink that all day long. So um, we look forward to going back and trying out a couple more. He will try a couple of beers. I will try a couple more seltzers and um, we'll make our way through. So here's my monthly. It is now up to date. Now here is what my weekly looks like so far. I made a couple of errors on my graphing, just put a data point on the wrong day and then um, <laughs> graphed it wrong. So I'll go back and put some white out there, but I added in some little emoji heads from Coffee Monsters Co. And this week I used my Twisby Eco Glow Green with the Ackerman 28 um, color, which is like a green grass. <clears throat> and I believe this is in an extra Nope, sorry, this is a fine. So um, what I really like about this ink is as it dries, it gets almost this very dark halo around the edge of the letters, almost like a black um, halo around the letters, which is really nice. Um, I went ahead while I was adding in these stickers and just picked out a few that might be appropriate for next week, just thinking ahead of some of the things that I have going on. Um, We've got my son's 11th birthday next Saturday. My mom is flying in from out of town for that. Um, so very excited about that, which I thought maybe that's where that one could fit in. Um, I'll also need to do some cleaning and some shopping ahead of time. But the other thing is where I'm picking her up. Um, there's a shuttle service from the airport that brings um, people little bit more than halfway um, towards our direction but there's a big mall there I never go to a mall really I've been more this year already than I have the last you know maybe three four years partially because of the pandemic but um, just due to wedding preparation stuff but um, I really love the store Lush and so I actually had gotten the sticker uh, page from Coffee Monsters Co. So I might actually sneak in and grab something from Lush while I'm waiting for my, my, my mom's shuttle to come in. Um, so yeah, I pulled these out so they're all ready. I'll leave those there. Now thinking ahead to next week, I would like to use 
my uh, Peloton Sovereign M400 uh, with the Peloton Edelstein Moonstone ink. So I'm going to write that right here. There's just something special about how this ink dries. Um, gosh, I just love it so much. And then down here, we're going to set up my weekly tracker. There's that. And then we have my weight, distance, steps, exercise minutes, and movement or calories. Zoom that out just a bit. There we go. And then with this page, each day at the end of the day, I go in and put in what I actually did. So I do not use this for forward planning. I use this for memory keeping. There's just too many moving pieces that um, I, I just know I would be really bothered if I had to go back and cross things out um, if plans changed. So I'm going to just leave that here and let's flip to my dailies. Let's see, so making sure this ink does take a moment extra to dry. So let me, whoops, it's right here. I'm gonna put that here. All right, so going to last Sunday, um, do a little sneak peek here. I did get a new pen and there's a video coming out next week about that. Um, but uh, we did a nice fire last Sunday while we had the football games on. Um, and I have this, uh, if anyone is gluten-free and you have a Shaw's grocery market near you, their store brand signature, they have a chocolate chip cookie mix that is the best chocolate chip cookie ever. And here's my little life hack. I make a double batch. I use a cookie scoop and I scoop them out and then put those scoops into the freezer. And then I put um, the cookie scoops into little Ziploc bags. And then each night, my son and I have warm cookies. Um, so I take them out of the bag, put them on 350, uh, put the oven on 350, immediately put them into the oven while it's preheating. And I set my watch for 13 minutes and they come out with a gooey, gooey warm middle and a crispy, crunchy outside. Um, it, it's perfection. So highly recommend that. Uh, Monday was Martin Luther King Day, but we also had um, some snow falling throughout the day, which was really nice. Um, Tuesday, I had this really lovely conversation with one of my colleagues who um, exceptionally encouraging and shared kind of his journey of getting his doctorate, um, which I've been feeling a little discouraged 
a lot discouraged about recently. Um, and that conversation really gave me this wonderful burst of productive energy. And so I was able to channel that into quite a few things um, that carried through throughout the week. Um, on Wednesday, uh, my son had a cooking class. It's an online virtual class that takes place in Chicago, which is a different time zone than us. So um, the class in, Ch in Central Standard Time started at 6.30. For us, was at 7.30, which went into 8.30, which my son's bedtime is 8 o'clock. So um, it was an interesting evening that evening, but he made a amazing key lime pie. It came out wonderfully. We didn't get to sample it till the next day because it needed to cool down. Um, and I also had a very interesting day at work, which resulted in me taking my first ride in a cop car. <laughs> um, Thursday, uh, I had the, a monthly board meeting for um, a, a board that I am a student representative on um, probably will be the last term that I get to be a student representative because hopefully I will no longer be a student after that. Um, Friday, I had a wonderfully productive day. I had two tours scheduled for that day. One of them just didn't show up, but um, I was able to get quite a, quite a lot of things done throughout the day and stay focused and keep myself really focused. So I was continuing to channel that nice, um, productive energy. I also use the uh, Ferris Wheel Press roundabout pen with storied blue. Um, this is the ballpoint pen that has a liquid or the um, fountain pen um, cartridge in it. Why does that look bent? Hmm, maybe it. Interesting. Okay. Um, and it's it's such an interesting writer because it always starts out juicier than it ends. And then you can see here it got even lighter um, as the day went on. Uh, and then yesterday we went and checked out a new brewery that's local to us. It, it says it opened in 2020, but I believe that was just the, the outside um, component. They opened an indoor tap room. I think within the last couple of months, maybe maybe earlier this fall. Um, but we went there, and like I said, they have a whole selection of seltzers. So getting into Sunday, Monday, let's see, what do I want to write with? Let's see. Let's go with my Twisby Diamond 580 Rose Gold 2, and this is in an extra fine nib with Birmingham Pen Company, Pennsylvania Fieldstone. So for now, I'm gonna write Twisby Diamond 580. Now I write this up here because on my monthly, I'm able to then cross-reference. Um, since my last filming, the day of my last filming, I finished up the Ferris Wheel Press gold-plated brush pen with Birmingham Pen Company Armadillo. Um, and I inked up a new pen. Like I said, there's a video coming out for that. So let's close this up because we are now done with my Hobnichi Cousin weekly planning. I'm going to put that aside and have some coffee. All right, now let's get into my Hobnichi day free. So the first thing is, let's go to the monthly. Let's confirm I have all of the appointments that I need. Over to the side, I have my laptop that has my weekly calendar on it. Now this week, um, I had to add in 
that Aiden has no school on Friday. So I will either be taking that day off or working from home. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. I think I'll be taking that day off. I'm looking for there we go okay all right so let's see the 23rd I have a nine o'clock student services I added in making sure that that's in frame at 10 30 observation for my um, mid-year teacher evaluations and Hmm. There's a five o'clock diversity and equity committee meeting, but I don't think I want to go to that. Okay. On Tuesday, I have an eight o'clock referral review, a nine o'clock IEP meeting. Uh, I have an 11 o'clock tour. And then I am editing progress reports. Oh, that was a funny R. Um, and then in the evening, I have a groomsman. Um, we're going to go shopping to pick out what the groom and the groomsmen are going to be wearing and go to dinner at the wedding venue. All right, so Wednesday, I have a 6.30 a.m. consult. I have a hold on my calendar for an 8.15 reconvene. I have a 9.30 tour. I have a 11.30 um, observation. The school that my program is housed in, we're working on doing some reverse inclusion opportunities. I have a one o'clock meeting um, with my boss to prepare for my mid-year observation and then Thursday I have a leadership meeting and this meeting is no longer on my calendar. I have a 1.30 literacy meeting and then my uh, staff meeting at 215 I'm getting observed in for my um, biannual observation and then the 27th I'm hoping to do some more progress report editing Saturday is my son's birthday party. Um, Sunday, I have no plans, but Saturday will also be pay it forward and Sunday will be pay it forward. Okay. Why don't I check on the 30th and 31st just while I'm here? 31st. First, let's see, nine o'clock. I have an IEP meeting and eight o'clock referral, 12 o'clock CIA, and I have a 1.30 meeting, which will be to go over my observation on Thursday. Okay zooming out so that's my monthly now let's look at let me grab I have 
have a couple more kids that um, we're looking to add. And this student, this kid is confirmed, and I have a couple that I need to follow up on. Okay. Now, yesterday, let's look at my habit tracker. I'm going to be using green. Let's. I did my journal. I did memory keep five year. Did some planning for that. Did my tracker. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did more than ten tasks. I made a mistake with my color initially, so I had to use some white out because I would not have been pleased to look back at that. And I figured the whiteout was better than having the wrong color and messing up the pattern. But having said that, I probably won't do a pattern next year, uh, next month. I just wanted to use both of these inks because they were both inks that I got for Christmas. And so I was very excited by like, about it. All right. Um, so yesterday I worked out journaling, memory keeping. I did have more than one because uh, I had my two seltzers and I had a gin and tonic when I got home. And I know that I took my anxiety medication did not do any end up doing any work so I will do that today and I also have to read some articles I did do a purchase yesterday so not a no spend day all right there's that all right, so my tracker is done. I did update. I'll get back to that in a second. Okay. Oh, that's the week before. That's why. <laughs> I was looking at some of those tasks and thinking I did them. Um, all right. Let me just make sure. Yes, I updated that. All right, so we're moving on to Sunday. I don't have enough room down here, so I'm going to start Sunday up top. month is flying by. I cannot believe it's almost the end of January. Twenty second. So I always start with workout and doing my plan with me now so I'm going to put that um, I have started that we've been doing good with our five year we actually um, have all been holding each other accountable um, Let's see, articles. I 
I didn't do them yesterday, so I'm going to add So I'm looking at for my dissertation because I have to start over uh, two different topics. And so one is looking at staff training from the lens of uh, completing an objective report thoroughly. And so hitting the components of that and then the other is staff training using behavioral skills training and um, doing an extension of uh, research done by um, two people that I have previously worked with. So um, either topic I have an interest in. So I'm very, I am, what I'm doing is I'm looking at some articles right now that are along those lines and I'm determining is there a gap in the research and room to uh, contribute to the the bank of literature and do I have the tools and the means to conduct that research um, with the you know fidelity that it needs to be conducted so um, that's why I'm reading all these articles and hopefully these articles will then be incorporated into my literature review which would be done at a later time uh, later time meaning over the next couple months So I have my Alistair method and I, the last couple of weeks, I've thought of things as I'm putting together my schedule. So I just went ahead and um, wrote that in so that if that happens again, I can add to it. All right, let me make sure I've got room. Um, Monday the 23rd. Still nervous about writing on camera. Um, right, is that all that I had? Oh, I love that still. Sorry. <laughs> Got distracted there. Hmm. There's a 12 o'clock curriculum meeting on my schedule. It's no longer in my calendar, so I guess it must have been deleted. Interesting. Okay. Why didn't I catch that before? I'll just confirm on my Google calendar before I cross it out though. Tuesday the 24th. So I actually schedule in progress report editing time because otherwise I end up doing it all on my own time. Um, and that is not a good habit to have. So I'm working on breaking that and holding my employer accountable for giving me the time to do my job. So I'm just going to put... Uh, wedding stuff here. All right. Wednesday, I have my 6.30 console.
15. Reconvene, which probably won't happen. This one keeps getting rescheduled. 9.30, tour. Eleven thirty observation for a reverse inclusion opportunity. One o'clock. My observation prep with my boss. All right, and then Thursday. 26 leadership one thirty literacy two fifteen is staff meeting. Saturday. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and all of the open slots on my schedule um, as of tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to fill with progress report editing in the hopes that everything can be done by Friday. Um, so 11 o'clock is birthday party. And then I have pay it forward. And we're probably gonna go out to a nice dinner because my mom is here. Sunday, 29th will just be pay it forward and we'll enjoy a nice fire. Uh, my mom's coming up from Florida. So, uh, you know, having a wood fireplace is a, um, very unique for her. I did not add any tasks here <laughs> this time. Um, so what I'll do is I'll migrate all of my tasks over. Now I did wanna share a couple of things. Um, so I have my notebook here in the back. I had, um, well, we've got Inco Rimos coming up next month. So I am going to participate in Inco Rimo. I started putting out some addresses that I'm gonna write to. I am not going to hold myself accountable to writing one letter a day. I'm just going to cover these because I don't know if they necessarily want these on YouTube. But um, I don't think I am going to be able to do one letter a day. But I selected 10 addresses and I will try to do those early in the month. And then maybe I will get some that I can respond to. And that I think is an attainable goal for IncoRimo. Now, I did want to share, so I'm mentioning progress reports, and I know that I have at least one viewer that is a special educator. Um, so when I have something like progress reports, what I do is I have the student, I'll write the student names, and then um, for each goal area that they have, because I review all of the goal areas to make sure that it's well written, um, there's no grammatic or spelling errors or erroneous spaces or things that are not going to present professionally. Um, so I will edit every single goal area and every objective within those goal areas. So for each goal area, I place a dot. And when I finish editing those objectives, I cross out the dot. I will, on this side, select an in ink that the first time I sit down or the first editing session, I will write session one and the date, and then I will cross out all of the goals that I edited 
and um, what I like to do is track the progress toward completion. So if I have, for example, 100 goal areas and the first editing session I get through 35 of them, then I would have 35%. Um, and then I can keep track of as well who's meeting their deadlines and who needs a little bit of time management coaching. So um, that is a strategy that I use for monitoring that in essence project on my workload. Anywho, this is a very long video, so I am going to stop here. That is the end of my weekly planning and I look forward to uh, posting next week. Thanks for sticking around. If you like this, give it, give it a like. I am finally going to say subscribe. I haven't said that yet, but I do look at that information to get an idea of what people like to see, like to watch, enjoy, so that I know what to make more of.